Hey, hi, I'm Carol Alt, and you're watching Life Minute TV. I'm working on a series called Paper Empire. I'm starting a new book next week. I have a film coming out in Europe uh, called it's, um, the, big, it's the, the Big Chill Meets The Hangover. My books are always more self-help. I, I really, I found the secret and I've been trying to tell women in any which way I can that a little bit of work will save so much aggravation later on. You know, it's all about health, it's all about nutrition, it's all about being young and being proud of it, looking young, looking good. You know, I'm, I'm a raw foodie, so that's really what I try to, t try to teach people. I, I really think that diet has everything to do with it, and I've been saying that when doctors have been spitting in my face because uh, nutrition has nothing to do with health. Nutrition has everything to do with health, and I'm a walking billboard because I didn't do it to look good, I did it to save my life and looking good just happened to be the side effect. So I'm grateful for that and I'm grateful every day I can stand up because you know as you get older it's harder and harder to walk in heels. <laughs> I do and I have I have a shampoo regimen. I mean you don't have hair like this at this age without having a good shampoo. Yes, I do I do all my own. I do raw. Everything is I, I, I can't say that it's chemical free because they consider water a chemical, but they're harsh chemical free because everything is raw. So even our acids, our glycolic acids, are all fruit acids that have been uh, fermented. So, you know, everything is good because what you put on the body goes into the body through the skin. So if you're going to eat well, you might as well put good stuff on your skin. And that includes your hair. You know, I work all the time because I'm, it's you know a creative process. So I'm constantly thinking of new things to do, new angles to approach things. You know, and when I'm doing a series, of course, you're always you know even when you're home, you're working on script for the next day. I have two cats at home, two rescue cats. Always save a rescue. They always remember. And I come home and they come running in the front door and like all the stress and the pressure just falls off you when they see those two little faces looking up at you wanting to be touched, you know? It's better than having a man at times. <laughs>